find it interesting that when you get older, everybody wants to remind you of how old you are. And most of the time, um, when you get out of bed in the morning, you know, your body talks to you and you really don't need anybody telling you how old you are. Uh, several months ago, I was uh, reminded that I had lived under 15 presidents and uh, survived under them and starting with Calvin Coolidge. So I googled Calvin Coolidge and uh, he was actually vice president under Harding. And when Harding died, uh, he became president. And that was around 1922 or 23. Uh, he, he was a guy that didn't want to talk to the Congress. Uh, he didn't want to talk to the senators. He didn't want to talk to the, to the newspaper people. He hated newspaper people. And he got a nickname called Silent Cow. Everybody called him Silent Cow and President. Uh, and when I read all of that, you know, thoughts went around in my mind. And I thought, boy, wouldn't it be wonderful if all of our presidents <laughs> were, were like Silent Cow. My last two books uh, were published before last Christmas. Uh, this is short stories from a long life. And then the other book, India, Burma, China, World War II, 1943-1945. Uh, I have uh, never talked story before. This is a new first for me. Uh, I might have some quiet times, which you don't might understand, and, and I will try not re to repeat myself, and I will not ramble. If I do, my daughters have said to stop rambling, and I will do it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of books that were written about World War II. And most of these books were written about the war in Europe. And, and uh, rightly so, because the war in Europe, the ending of the war in Europe, affected every man, woman, and child on the planet. And most of these books, I find, are written about and for generals, high-ranking officers, pilots, uh, blood and guts, and heroes. My book is not any of that. Uh, it's not a diary or a journal, but more or less a war that was seen and lived in as an 18-year-old kid, a teenager. 